Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on this HP 24 inch. So I have a top right corner here, as you can see that the LCD is cracked. So I'll be replacing the entire screen. And this video would walk you through step by step on how to do so. Now, um, I need to apologize in advance because my camera is only at this height level. I can't move it anymore to show you the entire full computer screen. So I'll be moving the object where it follows the lens so I can do the filming for you and you can see it. So it's kind of zoomed in too much, but this is the best I could do to uh, angle my camera. So um, let me apologize in advance for that. All right, so let me flip it around to show you the model number, at least that you have the same model as I do. So let me turn it around a little bit. Okay, here, oops. So here, as you can see that I have the HP model 24-F0028. Okay, and I'll show you the back. And this is how the back looks like. So if you have the same model, then this video is going to help you to how to replace the LCD screen. Alright, so let's get started. So here I'm tilting the, uh, the computer at certain angle. So this is the stand, right? So if you can see this is the stand. And you want to remove this plastic cover. So to remove the plastic cover, go ahead and get a, something like a prying tool. Stick it in and just pry it open. It doesn't have any screw or anything to it. It just kind of like a clip on a plastic. You just pry it open. Now here you, you see a little rubber plastic. These two rubber plastic, there is a screw hidden underneath the plastic. Okay, so this is the plastic. Flip it up and you can see the screw here. And there's one screw here. Alright, so there's one screw on each side. So you need to take out two screws. The screw doesn't come out. The screw's just going to be loosened and it stays like as this. So we're just going to keep turning until it gets loose. Okay, once it's loose, the stand will just come right out. Okay. So let's move the stand on the side. And you want to come back here. And as you can see, you would see three of this. So go ahead and remove the three screws. I actually need to change my screwdriver because uh, the magnet is no longer holding up the screw so I need to use the tweezer to pick up the, the screw in there. So there you go, I just removed the three screws, right? So when the three screws is removed, you want to put that on the side, come back here, and this is the, uh, the front panel. So what you want to do is you can get a prying tool, go ahead and pry it, so stick it here in between the the plastic cover you can just use your finger to kind of like pry it open all right so remember the three screws I removed two of them are from here and one of them is this over there so this whole plastic will just come right out All right, I just turn it around. So right now the webcam is facing uh, facing on, on the top instead of the bottom part. Here is the bottom part right here. So the next step I'll be doing is to remove the screw. So as you can see that there's screw here. Okay. So it looks like there's one screw right here is missing, so you want to remove this screw as well. All 
Alright, so once you remove the screws, the next thing is that the screen would which should come out without any problem. So let's see. So let me go on this angle here first. Okay, I'll turn it around a little bit. I'm holding the screen at the same time I'm trying to pry it open. All right, it looks like the screen is free to go. But before I remove everything, I just want to point out to you that the cables are still connected. So all the wiring, the LCD cables are still connected, okay? So I, what I like to do is I like to tilt this part right here, the, the webcam, towards me. So I'm tilting the screen towards my body. I'm lifting it up, and this is what you will see. Okay, at this point right here, this is your LCD cable and there's a white pin. This pin, you want to use the two fingernail, put it on both sides and lift it up. So lift it towards, um, up towards the sky. So lift it up a little bit, that is just to open up the clipper. When the clipper is loose, the cable will just come slide right out, okay? So there is one cable you need to remove. This is the next cable you need to do that. So this cable here, it doesn't have a clipper. You just use your two fingernail and pull, pull up, okay, just pull up. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You just go uh, push it to to, to install and pull to remove it and there's one right here this is the final cable same process pull okay so this is that cable you just have to pull now once you pull them the three cables disconnected and there you go, that's, that's the screen. The screen can just remove. Now, just gonna just explain to you quickly, uh, this is your, the DDR4 RAM. This secondary slot right here, you can add additional RAM if you want to. All right, so this here is your hard drive. So all your windows and the data is stored in this hard drive. There's a slot right here. This slot allows you to install the M.2 NVMe SSD. So if you want to change for a faster speed, you either you can install a 2.5 SSD or maybe the uh, NVMe M.2 SSD. All right, the CPU is here, it's already built in, you cannot upgrade. This is your CPU fan, you can change it. Um, it's, it's very easy to change the CPU fan, just remove the screws and you can just disconnect the CPU fan. But you need to disconnect the cable first. This is your Wi-Fi card. And lastly, this is your motherboard. The motherboard is very small. Okay. And the bottom here are your speakers. All right. So this video is about screen replacement. So let me move this on the side. We do not need the, um, that process right here. So. So here, here is your screen. Okay. So as you can see, the screen does has this black frame. We need to remove this, this, this frame here. So go ahead and remove the screws. Alright, once I remove all the screws, I put it on the side. Now this frame will just come right out without any problems, okay? 
Uh, so make sure you have the cable. Oops, this thing is still intact. Sorry about that. So, um, we need to transfer the three cables, all right? These three cables we need to transfer to the new LCD. So to do that, uh, let me show you how to do it. So this is the plastic, you need to kind of flip it up first. There's these two side clipper, it's a metal clipper. Press it on both sides and then pull it away from you. So meaning that you want to pull it that direction, away from your body, right? So pinch the clipper and then pull it away from you. So save this cable. And we, now we can remove this frame. All right, so let me bring the new screen here. So here's my new screen. Okay, so this new screen is still has the plastic cover in the front. Now, if you want to buy a screen and you're not sure what to buy, um, you can click on the description below. I will have the link where you can where you link you to either eBay or Amazon and where you can buy the screen from. All right, so the original screen here, it says LM238WF5SSA1. And the screen I got here is LM238WF5SSE5. So I don't think it's really important the last two digit is different. It could be A1, E5, or maybe, you know, uh, F3, or maybe BC. I don't know. Whatever number in the back is not that important. You just got to match the lm 238 wf 5 Alright, if you have any question, you should call the manufacturer. Make sure that it's compatible uh, before you do the purchase. Of course, I will have the link in the description below where you can buy that from. Now, um, like I said, this is a touch screen, all right? So uh, before you buy, buy the screen, you might want to make sure that the connector are the same where you can transfer the connector over, okay? So let me align the new screen. The bottom one is the original, the top one is the new screen, okay? So this cable here, I need to transfer up here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm using my, my, my thumb, the fingernail, and push that cable away from me, right? Push it up away from me. And then to install, I just align it and then push it down. Now we're gonna do this one here on the left side. So same thing, push it away. Uh, it's like a clipper, so you need to press on both sides. Just kind of wiggle a little bit until you get loose. Now transfer to the new screen and push it down. Right, do not forget this one as well. This is the, the cable for the LCD. So slide it in. Push it all the way in and then use the tape to hold it, right? Just pull it tight and then hold it. Now the new screen is all set and ready to go. So let's remove the bed screen. So what we need to do next is to transfer the frame. Now the frame here, this, this hole is to stick this cable through. And then this, this hole here is to stick this cable through. Okay, now you can just align that, that, that frame. So like align the screw here with the frame. Go ahead and put all the screws back on.
Alright, so now once you have all the, sc uh, the screws and the frame installed, so let me put this on the side. I'm bringing back the uh, I'm bringing back the uh, the motherboard, the base. All right. So what I need to do is I just got to make sure that the cables are going back into the right position, okay? So I'm I'm holding on to the LCD the same time I'm leaning to my to my body. Now here is the uh, the the line and the other side has no is gold 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 color and this is the blue color with the line this is where you need to install it so make sure the clipper is open like loose okay stick that cable all the way in okay make sure the Make sure the clipper is open. Stick it all the way in and then you push it down. Okay, so you need to have the clipper to clip onto the onto the cable so you have the connection. Okay, so push it down, make sure that the thing is connected. Now come back here. This is your uh, connector. So this here, go ahead and connect. push it down and then same thing for this one and then push it down alright so let me lay this screen flat So if you have, uh, so pretty much this is it, right? So you have all the cables in a place, put it, okay? And then um, make sure you have the screws that are gonna go back on here. And then put the stand back on and there you should have it. So if you have any question, comment below. Um, I would like to make more video for you for the next future. So good luck with your repair, good luck with the screen replacement, all the best and take care, bye bye.